Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Men for the sake of getting a living forget to live. Very early, I knew that the only object in life was to grow. There is no holy masculine man, no purely feminine woman. Nature provides exceptions to every rule. I am suffocated and lost when I have not the bright feeling of progression. The especial genius of women I believe to be electrical in movement, intuitive in function, spiritual in tendency. All around us lies what we neither understand nor use. Our capacities, our instincts for this our present sphere are but half developed. Let us confine ourselves to that till the lesson be learned, let us be completely natural, before we trouble ourselves with the supernatural. I never see any of these things but I long to get away and lie under a green tree and let the wind blow on me. There is marvel and charm enough in that for me. There are noble books but one wants the breath of life sometimes. Let every woman, who has once begun to think, examine herself. Male and female represent the two sides of the great radical dualism. But in fact they are perpetually passing into one another. Fluid hardens to solid, solid rushes to fluid. There is no holy masculine man, no purely feminine woman. Nature provides exceptions to every rule. Reverence the highest, have patience with the lowest. Let this day's performance of the meanest duty be thy religion. Are the stars too distant, pick up the pebble that lies at thy feet, and from it learn the all. What a difference it makes to come home to a child. Harmony exists no less in difference than in likeness, if only the same keynote governed both parts. What concerns me now is that my life be a beautiful, powerful, in a word, a complete life of its kind. Beware of overgreat pleasure in being popular or even beloved. As far as an amiable disposition and powers of entertainment make you so, it is a happiness, but if there is one grain of plausibility, it is poison. I now know all the people worth knowing in America and I find no intellect comparable to my own. Above all things, to remember that hypocrisy is the most hopeless as well as the meanest of crimes. But her eye, that torch, or the soul, is untamed, and in the intensity of her reading, we see a soul invincibly young in faith and hope. Our capacities, our instincts for this our present sphere are but half developed. Let us be completely natural, before we trouble ourselves with the supernatural. Accursed be he who willingly saddens an immortal spirit doomed to infamy in later, wiser ages, doomed in future stages of his own being to deadly penance, only short of death. Yet, by men in this country, as by the Jews, when Moses was leading them to the promised land, everything has been done that inherited depravity could do, to hinder the promise of heaven from its fulfillment. The cross, here as elsewhere, has been planted only to be blasphemed by cruelty and fraud. But the intellect, cold, is ever more masculine than feminine, warmed by emotion, it rushes towards Mother Earth, and puts on the forms of beauty. We have waited here long in the dust, we are tired and hungry, but the triumphal procession must appear at last. Here, as elsewhere, the gain of creation consists always in the growth of individual minds, which live and aspire, as flowers bloom and birds sing, in the midst of morasses, and in the continual development of that thought, the thought of human destiny, which is given to eternity adequately to express, and which ages of failure only seemingly impede. Where I make an impression it must be by being most myself. The union of two natures for a time is so great. All truth is comprised in music and mathematics. Marriage is the natural means of forming a sphere, of taking root on the earth, it requires strength to do this without such an opening, very many have failed to this, and their imperfections have been in everyone's way. Beings, likely to be left alone, 
need to be fortified and furnished within themselves, and education and thought have tended more and more to regard these beings as related to absolute being. If you have knowledge, let others light their candles in it.